you'll take one of these PVC pipes, and I've got different sizes down there, so you can kind of decide what size you want. And you're just going to get it to tightly wrap on your PVC pipe. Scotch tape that on there, masking tape, I'm sorry. That's, the scotch tape doesn't work very well, it gets sometimes stuck in the clay, and this just works better. Okay, and that will be your pot. Now I've got all these thin slices, I'm going to go try to roll a slab on the slab roller that fits around that. So I'll take a couple of these over, and you can look over here. You can adjust the depth on this. by taking out the boards. I have it set to the depth that I want you to do for this project, I think. If I decide it's too thin or too thick, I'll adjust by putting more boards underneath. It's okay that some of this clay gets on yours. It won't make any difference. All right. You don't have to be as concerned with air bubbles on this one. But you really don't want it too thick either, or this cable gets off whack and it screws it up, and it's not a cheap machine. So make sure you have pretty have it pretty thin. I'm just going to lay it on here. And I actually probably don't need it that. I'm going to try to get the length here to go around my pot. Does that make sense? I want a long rectangle this way. that over there and it should crank pretty easy if you have to work harder than me right now it's too thick we'll see if that goes around you just take a fettling knife slice it off and that stuff didn't and I'm going to make a straight line here because this is going to be my bottom I'm not going to worry about my top right now. Just gonna make a straight edge here and throw that over there. Let's see if this is gonna fit. Yep. And now I want a little bit of an overlap, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. You guys do not have to have an overlap, you can have yours perfect. See how mine overlaps? If you came up a little bit short, you can use this to roll and stretch it out a little bit, it will do that for you. If you want a nice straight edge, you're going to cut right along here and make a perfect rectangle of a slab. If you want something more organic, like I maybe do, you can do something like that. Maybe you want to have a pattern made out first with paper. I don't know what your plans are, but those are things to think about. Now I just want to make sure that that's tight on there. I'm going to go ahead and Score and slip this. Is there some water over there? Okay, or Tara, can I borrow yours? Yours is right there. We were watching a video yesterday and she said you need to rub it till the shine goes off, that that's a better slip. And I did not know that. We'll clean the hair. So I'm just going to rub this in a little bit until the kind of the shine goes off. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's called the Pat's Technique. And now I'm just going to press that on there. And I like this organic look. I like a rougher looking pot, so I might want this to almost be eroded or rough looking on the outside. Maybe you want yours very smooth and polished, it depends on your look. 
okay? And then maybe I would get something and you can do whatever you want for your look. It needs to be well crafted, good edges, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to take another slab and run it through here for my base. <coughs> this red clay, you can take one of those scrapers and just scrape it off. And if you don't use all of your slab, put it in the plastic yeah. tub so somebody else might be able to use some of that slab. And I don't score the bottom of that. I probably should, but I'm just going to do this. I'll slip it, but I'm not going to score the bottom of that one. And just till the sheen comes off. See that? And then you'll work on perfecting the craftsmanship of this once you get it together. Right now we're just doing the rough form. Slip that out. You can leave that in there if you need to. It's not cheating, that's hand building. They used to use logs to do this. Pound it out with your hands. It's called smart. So anyway, if you feel like uh, you're going to do a lot of carving, go ahead and leave this in here, but don't leave it in there overnight. You know why? Clay shrinks. Thirty. I think the shrink on this is like 33%. And then you'll be able to just pull this out. Okay? That's why I say you'll be able to whip this together in about a day, depending on how much decoration and ornamentation you want to do. I want it well crafted, good round lip, lots of decoration, maybe you're going to carve into it, and then if you don't like this red clay on there, you're going to glaze them anyway, but you can just scrape that off. Oh, can we like do like designs on it? Can turn that off now? Yes. You're good to go. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is pound out a cone shape, okay? okay. <laughs> this is how you pull a handle. It's true. I know. And you have to make sure you're constantly turning it. <laughs> it's how it's, I'm sorry. And you'll start to see it starting to pull. They also call this springing handles. This is how all pottery handles are pulled. Okay. Once you start to feel that it's even, this is where it gets kind of neat. Dalton, you're going to have to zoom in on here. Okay, now I'm going to start taking my two fingers. You can see how now it starts to flatten out. And now what I like to do, because I like handles to feel nice, I'm going to take my thumb now. Do you guys see that? And I start to run my thumb down the middle. You guys see that happening? It's got to be smooth, even pressure. And that's how you make a handle. Uh -huh. Now when you cut it off, you can kind of see how you want your picture handle to be, isn't it? So I'm going to slice that about right there. Lay that out. Score that. I don't really need to slip it because it's already slipped from doing that. A little bit there. Now all I do is put that on there. Give it a good push. And voila, there's your handle. Pretty cool, huh? So I know it looks bad. <laughs>
but it looks really cool. And then let that dry. Be very careful with that. Like, that would be one of the last things you'd want to do for the day because this is weaker now. You're going to have to let that set up a little bit. Does that make sense? But that's how you pull a handle. Okay, you can try